Hi, this is Dr. Pan, host of Tucson Math Doc channel on YouTube. We have an interesting problem here. We're asked to write an equation of a polynomial given that there's two roots here. Actually, there's a trick in here. When they give you a complex root, it's assumed that you know or it's implied 3 minus i is also a root. So that's because the conjugate roots always come in pairs. Okay, so if there's 3 plus i, then 3 minus i is also and root, a root, okay? Okay, now knowing this, let's put it in the form. x plus 3 is the root because if you were solve equal to 0, you'll have x equal to minus 3. It's one root, okay? Times x minus next root, which is 3 plus i, and then times x minus 3 minus i, okay? Now this pretty much is done, so the function is polynomial is degree of 3. Okay, from here, there's a couple tricks. Let's see if we can spot them here. Now, notice here, if you open it up, you have x minus 3 minus i. Okay, that's the first one. x minus 3 plus i. Now, you can, if you want it, doing the FOIL on each one of them, but it's long and it's tedious. Over the years, I've shown my student there's a trick. If you know a squared minus b squared is a minus b times a plus b, okay, this will solve, save you a lot of work because if you realize this is a, okay, this is b, then you have a squared, which is x minus 3 squared, minus b squared, which is i, that's squared, okay? So if you want, you can push the pause button or pause the video at now and see if you get exactly the same thing. But for now, let's just go along with this one because YouTube only lets you record a certain length of the tape. Anyway, so let's open this up. I have x squared minus 6x plus 9 minus, I always have my student write it out. Okay, i squared is minus 1. Just do yourself a favor and write one more step so you don't miss uh, unnecessary sign change over here. So we have x plus 3 times x squared minus 6x plus 10. Okay. Now if you want to, let's multiply this one out. Now there's no short trick on this one. So I have x cubed minus 6x squared plus 10x. Okay. And the next one is plus 3x squared. Now notice how I'm lining them up. So later on it's easier for me to gather them around. And then I have a minus 18x and a plus 30. Okay, so here is my final polynomial. I have p of x equal to x cubed. This is minus 3x squared. Okay, this is plus 2x plus 30. Okay, this is a very interesting and elegant problem. All right, hope this helped. Have a confident day.